what we're going to be asked when people see us as Muslim women, they notice that you're different. So they're going to be asking themselves a question. They're going to be asking, see if, they think, if you think that this would be what people would think of when they saw you. Now there's someone who enjoys their faith. They look like they love being Muslim. Is that what pops into their head? If it doesn't, we haven't done enough educating, and we haven't done enough smiling, and we hadn't, haven't been engaged enough and contributing enough in society. It's our job, not anyone else's. It's our job to show this deen as a positive thing in this society, something that we enjoy and love to embrace. Would they, ask, would they look at you and say, now there's a woman who's empowered through her faith to make a difference. Is that what they're seeing when they see you walking in hijab? If it isn't, then we have work to do. You women, we have work to do. And you men, educating ourselves about Islam is not just, not just the women's importance. It's not just the responsibility of women because you are going to be fathers of daughters. You are going to be leaders and you are going to be in a position where you can make a difference and you can bring issues of women's rights to the table. And you can too and have them discussed. And I know that back home there are many countries where women's issues are not being discussed, ignorance is being allowed, and the whole society is in a state of jahiliya because women have not spoken out and men have certainly not spoken out on our behalf. It is men's and women's responsibility to see that this half of the society over here gains all of the rights that Islam gave them 1400 and some years ago because that's what balances a society and makes a society positive and puts a society in a balance that then can show to the excuse me to the world that Islam is a religion with a fair and loving and just god we must show that love of islam through our to our fellow human beings through our attitudes and through our actions and it all starts here with the individual power of each individual each one of you has the ability to change the course of the history of your country. And if your country happens to be this one, to change so many people's attitude about Islam just through your interaction with them.